This feature lets you create shop roles and assign particular actions to them. It adds an extra layer of security around your shop's finances and makes sure the right people can perform the most sensitive actions. As an owner, you will have the ability to create an employee and set a PIN number in the owner's portal. So every shop employee will have a personalized employee PIN number that would log and dictate the axes and actions they could take within Slice Register. Start by logging into your owner's portal at owners.slicelive.com. Select register users from the navigation bar on the left side of your screen. You will see two available tabs, register users and register permissions. The permissions group dictates what actions particular employees are allowed to take. And within the register users tab, you will be able to create employees assign the permissions group, as well as generate their pins. Let's take a look at the register permissions first. Under the register permissions tab, you will be able to add or edit the already predefined permissions group created by Slice, the manager group. Click the create permission group button. You will see the manager's group template created by Slice under the available permission group template section. Predefined available permission options are related to orders and cash management. In the order section, available options are turn off tax at order level, void refund, add discount, edit tip after payment for same day only transactions, line item clear before send, line item clear after send, and order clear. In the cash management section, available options are start cash drawer, Close out cash drawer, view X report, add pay in, add payout, view Z report, and view online detail report. In order to proceed, check the manager box and start creating your first permission group. Here, you are able to rename the permission group as well as check and uncheck permission options related to order and cash management. At the end, click save. You can also choose to keep the manager group as it is and then follow the same steps to start creating other groups. If you need to edit any of the permission groups you have already made, simply click the pencil icon on the permissions page to edit. Now that you have created all the permissions group you need, you can continue creating employee users. Go to the Register Users tab and click on the Add User button to start adding details for your employees, such as their name, permissions group, email or phone number. You will need to insert either the employee's phone number or email based on what you have most readily available. In the permissions group within the user details, you can choose as many groups as you need for certain employees by just checking the boxes. After adding all the details, click on the Save User button. Now, you are able to generate a PIN for that user by clicking on the Generate New PIN button. Repeat the procedure to add the rest of the employees. In the Register Users view, you will be able to see a list of the employees by their names, email and phone number, permissions, and part of their PIN number. If needed, you can edit details for any employee by tapping the pencil icon next to the user to change any employee information, or to view or generate a new PIN for the employee. Deleting employees or permission groups is not available in this version of the feature. The last step after creating all the permission groups and employees is to turn this feature on by using a toggle in the right upper corner. If you no longer want to use this feature, just turn that same toggle off. Do not forget to select the download changes from Slice in your register to enable this employee permissions feature. And that is it. As a fast follow to this feature, we will be adding the option of viewing an audit log, which will be a log that shows the actions that require additional manager approval for you to have an insight into when these actions are taking place. It essentially serves as a ledger for why we have employee permissions.